the Joe Rogan experience. So this fucking Dave Chappelle thing's crazy. Uh, last night, I guess it was, yep. someone attacked him at the Hollywood Bowl. He's fine. I checked in with him today. He was laughing about it. He's uh, in good spirits. He was. There's a video actually. He's he was laughing like right afterwards. Yeah. Because Jamie Foxx apparently had a cowboy hat. And he jumped on stage to help. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Foxx with a cowboy hat jumped on stage to fuck that dude up. The guy was uh, five foot. That that arm's broken, by the way. Definitely. That arm's fucked. There is also like the way they led him into the um the like when he got into the actual stretcher, you could see he's fucked. It's so funny. You can tell the type of beat up that somebody is when they're getting kicked on the ground <laughs> by different from different angles by different people. It's a different yeah. type of like beat up look. Yeah. You could tell that that left that that left side of his face was the side that was either on the ground <laughs> or totally like away from everything. And the other side was getting punched. <laughs> Just everything swollen on the yeah. one side. Yeah, he's fucked. That guy. He mean, Jesus Christ. You could tell. You can always tell because the, did you you saw the actual video? I saw the video. First of all, Dave Chappelle has good hips. Cuz yeah. he the guy yeah, shoots he almost in on him, on him and he kind of turned with him. He kind of kung fu him. Yeah. He came a little like Hito. <laughs> Have you watched the video? As the guy's coming in, he's coming in this way, and Dave kind of like turns a little. And it's balls too. Chappelle's a big boy, bigger than you think he is. Well, the guy's crazy. Clearly, yeah. there's something wrong with him. Look at this. And I mean, there's just no way to hips. describe how not expecting that you are when you're on stage. Yeah. Look at him. He just runs away. <laughs> and then the comedian clicks <laughs> in and he comes back because he's like, wait, I have to. It's my mic right now. Look at this guy running. Oh, my God. That guy's never tackled anybody in his uh -uh. life. No. Chappelle almost, almost makes a clear out. All the way. Yeah, almost. If he just had a little training. See, that was all an instinct. Mm -hmm. If he just had a little training. Imagine if he just punted that dude in the head when he went down. Yeah, one of those Masvidal knees. There is no <laughs> security in the front row at this thing. Like, there should have been someone there that was uh, scanning the audience for fucking weirdos. They're ready to sprint. Crazy. Well, we live in strange times, man. I mean, and after the Chris Rock thing, that was one of the things I was worried about. I was like, are people thinking they're going to start smacking comedians now if they don't like what they're saying? Yeah. And what I'm thinking or what I'm worried about is that, you know, people think that's justified. Like people keep, they keep using the same things. I, I saw an article. They said his transphobic statements. They're not, they're not fucking statements. They're jokes. They're not jokes that are transphobic either. They're jokes that feature trans people. They're not transphobic jokes. His whole bit in that last special that everybody was mad at is essentially a love letter to his friend that killed herself because she was supporting him and she got attacked on stage. The idea that that in somehow or another is transphobic just because he's talking about a trans person is fucking crazy. Right. It's, and then they just don't want to be talked about. That's what essentially what it is. Like they're saying it's transphobic if you're even mentioning trans people as a subject, which is bonkers. Yeah, Next. because it's really the opposite, right? That that means that they're equal. Yeah. If you're being included in an American free conversation and obviously a comedy set, like that means that you're part of the everything else. You're now. Yeah, I mean. We all, of course, everything's part of the everything else. But it's like, if there's stuff that you cannot discuss at all, because it's so hot, the subject can't be brought up. Well, this is we. This is a nonsense way of communicating. You can't communicate like that. Right. You can't say people can't discuss topics. Right. Or discuss something that is prominent in culture right now. I mean, there's a lot of discussions. Yeah. About trans rights and about use of bathrooms and about you know trans kids and the white house talks about it and jen saki was doing an interview and she was crying about it sort of misrepresenting what the don't say supposedly don't say gay bill in florida which isn't don't don't say gay you know this is uh it's a weird time because we we have to be able to look through the fog the fog of the anger that we have for the opposite or the anger we have for the opponent because the way that the Democrats and the way that Republicans look at it today is There's us and there's them and it's so polarized 
that anytime something comes up, anything like well, these these subjects, like you want to find out what side is on what side of the issue. Like, is is my side on this is okay, or is my side on this is a, a bad thing? 